sinister. One of the words that I would use to describe this man. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Weighing in at 201 pounds. Tommaso Ciampa! Had a tremendous relationship with longtime best friend Johnny Gargano before he decided that championships are more important than friendship. It was then and only then I realized how intelligent Tommaso Ciampa truly is. It's not about friendships, it's about making money and winning titles. Yeah, Ciampa had no problem allowing his selfish desires to rise to the forefront. His selfish desires are what propelled Tommaso Ciampa to the position that he's in today. Absolutely disgusting display by this man when he turned on his best friend, Johnny Gargano. And for what? To become champion? To yes. act like this? Yes. To disgust the WWE Universe to the point where they boo you out of a building? Hey, it, it just it, comes it, with the territory. It's clear, Michael. Tommaso Ciampa has no conscience. He's back at NXT. A man who has completely transformed himself mentally and physically. Really uh, went through a resurgence and a rebirth when he returned to NXT. Had a new attitude. McIntyre now laser focused. Continues to dominate everything in his path. Yeah! And his opponent from Air Scotland, weighing in at 254 pounds, Drew McIntyre. The Scottish Warrior outlasted 29 other superstars to win the 2020 Royal Rumble match and then carried that momentum all the way to WrestleMania, where he became WWE Champion. Tommaso Ciampa has revealed himself to be one of the most cutthroat and conniving superstars we've ever seen. This guy would stab me in the back just as soon as he'd shake your hand. This business is no place for friendships and networking. It's a place for fighting and winning. No one knows that better than Tommaso. Well, we're going to see how that attitude serves Ciampa here, as I'm sure he's not out here to make friends. But they're going up against a born fighter in Drew McIntyre. This is a superstar who is always up for a fight. He's traded blows with some of the very best in the business, and he's still standing tall. Yeah, Drew takes the fighting like a fish to water, and he's custom built for combat. You get in the ring with Drew McIntyre, you're swimming with a shark. Under the ropes and back into the ring. I think you could call Tommaso Ciampa one of the grittier competitors here in WWE. How does that play? Oh, his trap just wrenching away. Oh, just tap out. Just tap out. Your arm is trapped in the cross face. There's no escape. Oh, yeah, there is. is. Dang, nice contact there. Ciampa lining him up from the top turnbuckle. Ooh. Oh, what a dirty hurricane on him. 
The black car with a counter. Ooh! Back to the ribs. Mario taste of pain. The fight got taken straight to McIntyre there. Yeah, Champa certainly isn't aiming to gain a friend with attacks that savage. Shoulders down. And easily kicks out of the count. Could be in search of a second win now. He reverses it. Counter after counter. suggest Drew McIntyre go back and watch this match. There's plenty that can be learned from this loss.